I'm Dino Pinch, and you're in the handyman zone. Hi, my YouTube friends. We're going to get a little crazy today. We're going to dissolve some styrofoam packing material in some acetone. A couple of things I'm going to recommend today is, number one, some safety glasses, and number two, some gloves. We're going to show you our little setup here, and we're going to get right to it. So this is our styrofoam, which is basically polystyrene with a lot of air blown into it. And what we're going to do is put a little bit of acetone in this uh, bucket we cut off and put the styrofoam in there. We're going to use a very little bit of acetone, maybe about a cup. And we're going to be able to not only dissolve all this styrofoam, but if we had more, we could dissolve a lot more in it, which gives the very dramatic effect of this little scientific experiment. Polystyrene is basically a plastic. Anything from a CD jewel case to a poker chip to a disposable razor to um, any kind of uh, plastic yogurt cup or whatever. And the acetone is an organic solvent and it will dissolve not only that kind of plastic but also this uh, this foam packing material. So we got about a quarter inch of acetone in there. We're going to start our demonstration for you. And you can see how dramatic that is as a large quantity of stuff just disappears into the uh, solvent. Now a solvent is a substance that dissolves a solute. Usually a liquid but it could also be a solid or a gas. Common solvents it's like paint thinner is toluene, turpentine, or nail polish remover would be this acetone, or um, like a uh, methyl acetate uh, spot remover, which would be a hexane, or a detergent like a citrus terpene, or a perfume type product. Uh, basically, one solution, one dissolves another into a solution. The solvent dissolves the solute into a solution. Most solvents are very flammable. Let me tell you people this. And most can explode. The vapors of these solvents are usually heavier than air and sink to the floor or the bottom of the container and can travel a long distance. And if there's a spark or a source of flame within that distance, you can make a fire or an explosion. So be real careful with this. Not only do you want safety glasses, but you want to be careful where um, where your open flames are or sources of spark. And uh, that's also why people that work with these solvents, when they have an empty drum or a can, they store it upside down so that the uh, vapors come out of the can and kind of dissipate in the air. Also, these solvents are very toxic to your nervous system, your reproductive, liver, kidney. They can cause cancer, skin damage, and also cause cataracts, which is why you want to be careful and do these kind of experiments outside. So already I've dissolved a huge amount of this styrofoam comparatively into a very small amount of this solvent, making our solution. You can see all the air being released out of the styrofoam is those little bubbles around the edges.
Now our polka chip is getting soft and gummy as you can see, although it's not dissolving anywhere as quick as that styrofoam did because the surface area of the styrofoam with all those air bubbles in it just allows it to uh, totally be eaten up by the solvent. Now I'm going to take some of this solution we've made and put it in this, what, well, it's a rubber cap, but we're going to call it a mold. And as the acetone evaporates out of the solution, this stuff will come hard like plastic, just as hard as this poker chip was before it started getting soaked. Well, my friends, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel, leave any suggestions in the comment box. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.